One of the reasons former President Trump came to North Carolina over the weekend was to support Republican Congressman Ted Budd in his U.S. Senate race. His speech included some strong claims about Budd's opponent, Democrat Sherry Beasley. CBS 17 digital reporter Jody McCrary is fact-checking it. Former President Donald Trump tried to link Democrat Sherry Beasley to the movement to cut police funding, but it contradicts something Beasley herself said less than a month ago. Trump spent part of his speech painting Beasley as being anti-police. Sherry Beasley is so far left on crime, she formed a fundraising partnership with the most militant to fund the police Democrat in Congress. What Trump's talking about is paperwork from a joint fundraiser a year ago between Beasley's campaign and one for Missouri Congresswoman Cori Bush, who has pushed to cut funds for police. But less than a month ago, Beasley stood next to officers and sheriffs and said the exact opposite. I do not support to fund the police. The former president also repeated claims that I debunked in a fact check four months ago. They focused on Beasley's record on crime when she was the state's chief justice. The accusation of wanting to defund police has become a common attack this election season. And Duke political expert Mac McCorkle says the issue could push the race one way or the other. There are a lot of half and partial truths. And again, how people swing, not the people who are already committed to Beasley and not the committed people who are committed to Bud, but how those people in not committed, decide on a question like this is going to help determine the race. But why are phrases like defund the police or soft on crime so powerful in political attacks in the first place? McCorkle breaks down the reasons in my story online. Jody McCrary, CBS 17 News.